More than a thousand people live in this dusty field on the outskirts of Bamako, Mali's capital city. These families are the innocent bystanders of an ongoing war. And when the violence finally drove them from their homes with nothing but the clothes on their backs, they found relative peace in this makeshift camp. But still, though shielded from gunfire, they are far from safe. There are no jobs. There is no rain. Food does not grow. The kindness of strangers is what keeps them alive. Fatima Bali and her son Bukhari. Aisata Diko and her children. Geneva Bari and her parents. These families are living in one of the worst humanitarian crises in the world. They have so many needs as they struggle to survive day by day. The last thing they need is COVID-19. <laughs> These families are among the 70 million people worldwide who have been forced from their homes by disaster or conflict. It could be years until the COVID vaccine reaches them, if ever. But they are our neighbors, and they are precious in God's sight. Together, we can show them love, even while the rest of the world turns its back. Your congregation can join the largest global health effort in human history and reach those who would otherwise be forgotten. Until your love reaches every neighbor.